Hello, good morning. Hello, can you hear me, class? Hello, teacher, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Great, great, good evening, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Blanca I'm fine. and Leah, I see that you are cold. Are you cold in this moment? Yes. Yes. I'm is, cold. It, is it raining around your house? <coughs> in my house, no. <coughs> hey, good evening, teacher. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good evening. Hi, uh, teacher. Cool. How's your weekend? Did somebody do something special this weekend? All oh, was special. Yeah, what did you do? I play uno. I play one. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you play with? If a car plays. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I used to play one. It was cool. Okay. Who, who did you play with? With my son. Oh, okay. <laughs> with my T-shirt. Sure. Yes. Did you put your hair? <laughs> yeah, I cut my hair. Yeah, I cut my hair myself. You okay, yourself? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I shave. It's easy to cut hair. It's easy. I cut the my boy's uh, hair. Oh, you do? Yeah, it's, it's not difficult. It's difficult on, little, on on children, on little children, because they move. Yes. Yeah. My children, children my boy is, is bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can tell him, don't move, don't move. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My son, I have to promise him a happy meal so he can let me cut his hair. Hey, but it's good because imagine you save seven dollars. Here is my boy. Oh, there he is. I see him. I see him. All right. Hello, Samuel Gonzalez. Yeah, I see him. He's behind you. Hi. I come back. You're back. Yeah. Now you're back. I was problem. From out of space. I was problem with my internet. I was or I had a problem with my internet? I, I had a problem. I had a problem with my internet. Was it by any chance with Claro? Yes, Claro. You know, recently, recently I see a lot of people complaining about Claro, the internet is bad, bad. And um, well, lucky me, but honestly, I have never had a problem with the internet. Never. With Claro. So maybe it depends on the zones, right? Maybe, I don't know. All right, I see Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela. Hello, Sophie. Hello, Marlon. Beatrice. Victor. Evelyn is here. Hi, Sandra. And we have Blanca Ruth. Okay, um, do you remember on Friday, what's the last thing we saw? We did Would You Mind? And we learned um, all the difference between lend and borrow, remember? Yes, yes I remember. Yes, borrow and loan. Loan, loan, lend. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Lend. So, lend. Man. Okay, so Luis Molina, dígame en inglés, por favor, el banco me va a prestar cinco mil dólares. The bank lent me five thousand dollars. Excellent, but you forgot the bank will lend me. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. The bank lent me. Will lend me. Will, in the yeah. future. Ah, okay. The bank will... 
will let me five thousand dollars. All right, good. Good. Now, um, <clears throat> Sofia, can you please tell me? Yo le voy a yo voy a prestar cinco mil dólares del banco. Um, yo le voy a prestar cinco mil dólares al banco. Eh, <risa> Eso tengo que decir. No, no, pero es que estoy, estoy raro en español. No, yo voy a prestar cinco mil dólares del banco. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. uh, I will lend five thousand dollars. Um, to the bank. Wow, Sofía debe de ser una billonaria, porque Sofía le presta al banco, imagínense. Uh, <laughs> Sofía no. ahorita acaba de decir que usted le va a dar cinco mil dólares, le va a prestar los cinco mil dólares al banco. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I wasn't in the last. Class. Oh, oh yes. So, um, it's, you're right. Confused. You're right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perdonada. You're forgiven. It's true. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm learning now. Okay. I will oh, borrow. It was. It was a little confusing, but. Yeah. <laughs> por eso, eh, por eso lo que ella dijo, o sea, que yo le voy a prestar cinco mil dólares al banco es eh, lo que estamos viendo el viernes es que. En español así lo decimos, pero depende del tono. Cómo lo decimos, damos a entender si lo vamos a dar o vamos a recibir los cinco mil dólares. Y en inglés hay una palabra, un verbo para cada acción. Entonces Luis dijo, the bank will lend me five thousand dollars. Entonces Lía, ¿cómo sería? Yo voy a yo voy a prestar cinco mil dólares del banco. I will I will borrow uh, five thousand dollars to the bank. From the, the bank. bank. On the bank. From the bank. Very good. From the bank. Very good. So that's the difference right there between lend and borrow. Luis said it nice and, and Leah said it nice. En las dos ocasiones el banco es el que va a soltar el billete. Pero Luis dijo, the bank will lend me five thousand dollars versus I'm gonna borrow okay I will borrow five thousand dollars from the bank excellent and that's what we did on on Friday so what we're going to do right now I'm going to share my screen Teacher. Yes. Um, so if I'm if I'm going to receive something, I have to say baru. Yes. And if I going to give something, yeah, okay. I look. have to say lend. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh okay. okay. Uh lend gives. Borrow lend receives. Borrow receives. Mm -hmm. So example. Sofia, can you lend me five dollars? In this case, Sofia, you give, I receive, right? Lend me. Yeah, imagine. Uh, Sofia, I need money. Can you lend me five dollars? I have to respond. Yes, I have. Yes, I'm I can. going to, to lend, lend you. you? Yes. Lend you, okay. Or lo mismo, pero voy a ser borrow. Pero yo no voy a ser can you borrow. Y voy a decir, Sofía, can I borrow $5 from you? Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, es como dicen, es la misma, es como una moneda. Es, Igual de los dos lados tiene el mismo valor. Solo que tiene diferente diseño. Sí. Entonces, la, la historia siempre es igual. Usted es la que me da los cinco pesos. Pero en una le, le pedí, ¿me puede dar usted 
me puede dar prestado a usted cinco dólares. Y en la otra yo le dije, ¿puedo prestar yo cinco dólares de usted? Se oye raro en español, pero en inglés así se dice. ¿Cuál es el más uh, común o el que más se usa? No, los dos, los dos. Bueno, realmente se usa bastante, can I borrow? ¿Puedo recibir yo prestado? Because, uh, ¿qué es lo que siempre andamos prestando? Hey, can I borrow your pen? Can I borrow your telephone? Mm -hmm. O la típica en la escuela o en el trabajo. Hey, can I borrow a dollar? <laughs> yeah, you know, can I borrow a dollar? Can I borrow this? En Caliche hay gente que dice, préstame un baro. ¿Será que viene de ahí? Que préstame un baro. <laughs> Sí, es cierto. Puede, fíjese. Él nunca me había puesto a pensar en eso. Pero está en un varo. Pero ya lo he oído. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Los mexicanos dicen mucho eso. Uh -huh. Nuestro, eh, no he notado que nuestro eh, español informal se está haciendo bastante mexicano. Hoy ya decimos güey. Always. Bueno, no, güey, como este güey, ya es oigo muy, mucha gente estar diciendo eso, yo me quedo, man, ni en eso podemos ser originales. Otra palabra que, que se la copiamos a los mexicanos, órale. Órale, ajá. Ajá. Sí, ya estamos usando órale, güey, antro. Uh -huh. yeah. Y aún que... así... Y aún así hay, hay, hay gente que habla mal de los mexicanos a veces. Y, y tenemos más su cultura que la nuestra. Sí, pero voy a cada rato veo este güey. Este güey. Hello, Jasmine. Hello. What happened to you last week? Well, I... I was very busy with my homework with the university because um, our our home homeworks eh, I know si como decir no nos los cancelaron. They canceled it. Uh -huh. So I was very busy. <laughs> Oh, okay. No problem. It's okay. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. Tell me if you can see it. Oh, wait, I see some chat. Sorry, my cousins are with me. Okay, thank you, Lou. I just saw your ear. I just saw your message. Okay, class, do you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, it says request with models, would you mind? Request with models, would you mind? And ah, man, the platform's still bad. Look, it, there's no video. Look, let me see the next one. I was uh, working uh, some minutes ago and I don't have any problems. If really? you want, I will share uh, can, can you please? my screen. That would be great. Would you please? Let me get out because then you can't share.
Is it working? Yes, but I. Uh, it's about. Uh, um. One point eight, really. Yes. Yeah, it's 1.8. You can see? Let me check. Yes. Class, you can see, correct? Yes. Great. Yes, I can see. All right, can you activate the volume from the computer too, please? Okay. Thank you. We can't hear. Can you um, go to the um, three points? I can hear. Okay. I can hear too. The yeah. video. The video, yes. Um, How can uh, I? Yes. Can you scroll up, please, in the video? No. No. Go up. Okay, you are in the video section 1.8. Request yes. with model. Okay, can you scroll up? Hi, there you know? I can hear. Yes. yes. Okay. Make thank you. Thank you. Using sorry, sorry. Verbs. Oh, okay. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Request with modals and would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind, plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off, to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually we add the word please at the end of the request when using could and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Hi, we're about... Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. So class, in this case, se va a poner más fácil. Can you, could you, would you? Is to ask for a polite request, correct? Yes. Yes? Yes. Thank you, Sandra. I don't know if the class is listening. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, teacher. When, so if you ask, let's do this. Can 
can you, could you, would you, and would you mind? What is the difference? It's the same. So teacher, when do we use can, could, and would you mind? Okay. The difference is can you, could you, would you, we use the verb in simple form, yes? Can you come? Can you go? Could you come? Could you go? Would you come? Would you go? Correct? Yes. When we say would you mind, it's something more instant. Something like in the moment. Let me give you an example. Imagine you, I am in my house and I'm talking on the phone. Uh, I am like this, nombre, right? And then my, my family is watching TV with the volume very loud. I'm like, okay, what, what? Wait, excuse me one second. I say, hey, hey, would you mind turning down the volume, please? You see, it's immediate, that reaction. You understand what I'm telling you? Good teacher. Yeah. Can you explain again, please? Okay. Right now, can you, could you, would you, and the verb in simple form. Can you come to my birthday party? Could you come to my birthday party? And would you come to my birthday party? But when we say, would you mind, we use a gerund. The diff, I mean, the it's it's to say the it's to say the same question. It's no problem. Todas son preguntas. But when do we use "Would you mind"? We use "Would you mind" with uh, with uh, action in the moment. Okay. Imagine it right now. I am explaining to you, pero Beatriz. Beatriz ha dejado encendido su micrófono y soy un gran relajo. Mm -hmm. Imagine, right? Y me quedo, what? I'm sorry, porque soy mucho la, la bulla de Beatriz. And then I said, okay, class, excuse me, class. Beatriz, would you mind putting yourself on mute? Ponerse en mudo. Mm -hmm. La... Usamos más would you mind cuando la acción está sucediendo. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay, class, necesito que me digan yes or no porque no sé si me oyen. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, in, in situations like this, y pasa todos los días cuando están hablando por teléfono y sus hijos no se callan por... ¡Ah! Yo, shh, okay, no te oí. What, what, what? Hey, you know, hey, wait, hold on, please, hold on. Hey, hey, would you mind being quiet, please? I am talking on the phone. Yes or no? That situation always happens. Okay, teacher. <laughs> that's okay, teacher. that's when we use "with you mind" when when the action is happening. Or you know when when you when you're explaining to somebody something and they they always interrupt you, you know, and then you say, "Hey, would you mind not interrupting me, please? I'm trying to explain." Okay. Okay. So that's that's when we use "Would you mind?" Questions. Yeah, Y el verbo teacher va en el... Gerund. Sí, cuando uno dice gerund. Would you. En ese teacher, use would you. No. Okay, one more time. Listen. Can, could, would, we say the verb in simple form. Yeah. All right, good. Can you come to my, can you come to my party Saturday? Could you come to my party Saturday? Would you come to my party Saturday? In the three, I used come. 
Y es lo mismo. Lo mismo dije en las tres. Pero sigo. Would you mind? Would you mind coming to my party Saturday? Cuando digo would you mind, ya no digo cama. Yo hoy digo coming. Mm. Y la segunda explicación es, entonces, ¿cómo saber cuándo usamos can, could, would? Mm. Yo solo lo, se lo dividía en dos partes. Se puede decir can, could, would you? Porque significa lo mismo. Eh, can, could y would. Pero ya si decimos would you mind, significa lo mismo, pero como les estaba explicando anteriormente, usamos más would you mind cuando la acción se está ejecutando. Ok. Quiero que alguien me dé un ejemplo ahorita. Hold on. Ahorita lo voy a, Vamos a ver. ¿Quién me quiere? Voy a hacer una actividad ahorita. ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Who wants to volunteer? Okay, Sandra, thank you. No, wait, uh, uh, no, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to give you an example and I want you to use would you mind? Would you mind? Yes, please hold on. Okay, um, Sandra, um, I'm going to give you a situation in this moment. This moment, okay, I... And wait, Sandra, okay. please wait. Okay. Listen, class. I'm going to give a situation and I want you to tell me, teacher, would you mind? And uh, depending on the situation, Okay, Sandra, can you please, because you know one time I, uh, um, I can't, can you hear me, Sandra? Is it getting better? Can you hear me, Sandra? Or do you feel the same? Hi, Sandra, I don't know if you can hear me, so I, I want you to hear me. Will it make it easier on you? So, you know, and then I want you to tell me. Can you give me that explanation, Sandra? What is the problem in this moment, Sandra? Can you hear me? No, I don't hear. You can't hear me, correct? Why not? Oh, because my music is too loud? Yeah. Oh, so, can you give me an example with Would You Mind? So, you know, so then on the weekend I was... Would my, okay, you go my ear for music. I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? Um, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. Remember, would you mind? And we need a Jaren. Who can help? Who can help Sandra? Okay. Would you? Would you? Would you mind? Uh, no, no, no. To ear for. Um, Interference with my your music. Okay, I'm sorry, Sandra. Yo escuché. Would you mind your ear? No, no, no ear, no ear. Okay, but but remember, but remember, after would you mind? Automatically, oh, you need a verb. You need a verb after would you mind. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que quiere que haga la música, Sandra? Quiere que la pague, oh. que la baje. No. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. No, no. Oh. Turn me off. 
may I help her? Please, go ahead, go ahead. I don't know if, will you mind turning the music down? Exactly, very good. Oh, okay. You see, okay, Sandra? Okay. Yo, yo entiendo, yo, yo, Sandra, yo entiendo que, yo, yo sé que usted entendía, pero yo creo que me quería decir de más, muchas, muchas cosas, y, y entiendo, pero era bien, o sea, piensa más simple, más, más fácil. Okay. Okay. Después de okay. would you mind, va el verbo. O sea, literalmente usted me iba a decir, le puede bajar un poco, le puede bajar a la música, por favor. Eso es would you mind. Okay. Yes? Mm -hmm. So, um, Hagámoslo otra vez. Okay, Sandra, so, you know, tell me about yourself. You know, then, you know, on the weekend I was doing it. Okay, Sandra. Would you mind down music? I'm sorry? Well, would you mind the music? Very good. Would you mind turning down the music? Down, turning down. The music. Very good, good Sandra. Thank, Thank you, you Samuel, teacher. very good. Good, entonces en situaciones así es cuando usamos would you mind. Hi Gabriela. Hello. Do you want to play a game? Okay. <laughs> okay, repeat after me, hi. Hi. Big. Sorry? Big. Big. All right, so repeat after me. Big ball bought a big baseball bat. <laughs> I can say um, faster. <laughs> you can say it faster? Yes, I can. Say, oh, you can't or you can? I can't. Okay, so can, but can you please repeat big ball bought a big baseball bat? Big ball bought a big baseball bat. No, me I say, excuse me, would you mind? Speaking. Would you mind? Ah, sorry, sorry. It's, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's Would okay. you mind um, speaking? Is, is speaking slowly? Very good, exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, Gabriela. Big Bob, a grand Bob, but a big baseball bat. Can you repeat? I forget them. Okay. okay. Would Big you Bob? mind repeating again, please? Excellent. I like that. Mm. Very good. Very good. Big Bob bought a big baseball bat. Big Bob bought a baseball bat. A big baseball bat. A big baseball bat. Very good, yes. <laughs> All right, yeah. A gran ball compró un gran bate de baseball. Big Bob bought a big baseball bat. <laughs> Very good, but I like what you said. I like what you said. Would you mind repeating? Very good. Esa sí no la vi venir, mire. Buena pregunta. Ajá, yo, yo esperaba que me, lo, lo primero, solo se esperaba que me dijera, would you mind speaking slower? Yo I, general, I, I should say slower or slowly. The two are correct. Okay. Yeah, I usually, I usually use the situation with doctors. You know, when doctors explain, doctors think, some doctors think that we are professionals in medicine and we understand the vocabulary. And le dan la explicación hacia uno. Eh, lo que pasa es que el tendón izquierdo superior fue extraído del muslo, bla, 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 bla. Y es que, um, what? <laughs> A doctor, would you mind explaining easier? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Sí, su rodilla está mal. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, okay. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, I guess. 
Jasmine, um, disculpe, es un ejemplo que voy a usar ahorita, ¿ok? El objetivo, Ajá. lo que voy a hacer ahorita, que voy a ser un poco abusivo. Le voy a hacer preguntas. No hay problema si me miento o no. Pero quiero que en un okay. momento determinado me llegue a decir, Would you mind? Ok. Ok. <laughs> so, Jasmine, where do you live? In Metapan City. Who do you live with? ¿Cómo? <laughs> Who do you live with? Uh, I live with my parents. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I have. Do you love your boyfriend? Yes, I love him. Uh, how much do you love him? <laughs> so much. Uh, do you see your boyfriend? Where does he live? Um, Se puede inventar. Eh, o sea, uh -huh. eh, que... uh -huh. um, he lives in two blocks. Oh, okay. After me. Uh, is your boyfriend jealous? Yes, a lot. Ok, no la estoy incomodando aún con mis preguntas. No. Oh, really? Oh, man. Yo no sé qué preguntar. Vaya, pero sí. No imag sé. Imagínese si ya la estoy incomodando. ¿Cómo me okay. pudiera pedir que pare? Usando Would You Mind. Uh, would you mind stopping with your answers? Very good. Very good. You can say, Would you mind stopping... Or would you mind um, stopping and asking me questions, please? <laughs> no, no. Yes. It, it, esas situaciones pasan. Y no solo un momento así, pero cuando, incluso cuando alguien le molesta algo. Yeah, you say, would you mind? <laughs> would you mind stopping your questions about my personal life, please? Yeah. Thank yes. you. Thank you, Jasmine. Okay. Era ejemplo, conste, ¿ok? <laughs> okay. Yo pensé que la segunda pregunta ya me iba a decir, excuse me, would you mind? Stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. So, you understand now, ¿cuándo said would you mind? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I understand. Okay. Yeah, um, let me see. Lucia. Lou, are you there? Can you talk now? No, well, maybe she can't because she has her cousins in, in the class, mm -hmm. in, in her room. But okay, Marta, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi. Marta, what color are my eyes? Um, um, would you mind um, um, don't don't see your eyes color de los ojos ya me arde what color are my eyes Mm, would you would you mind? Uh -huh. Don't. Eh, Aquí se dice, vea que me quiere decir retroceder. No. O alejarse. Eh, acercarse. Eh, estoy cerca. <laughs> Más cerca no creo que puedo. Creo que ya tengo la cámara stop. dentro del ojo. <laughs> Would you mind stop? Eh, um, ¿Cómo se dice atrasar? Eh, regresarse. Return. Return. Ajá, o, o, o alejarse. Uno se dice step back. Would you mind stop back your eyes? ¿Y back up? No. También, retroceder. Ajá, uh -huh, very good, también. 
Would you mind, Karen? Um, would you mind? Um, back your eyes. Okay, but remember, after would you mind, you need a gerund. So would you mind backing up? Repeat the question. Would you mind okay. backing up? Would you mind mm -hmm. back backing up? Okay. Can you see my eyes now? Hello? Hey, boy. Hi, hi. Yes, we can see your yeah, eyes. Yeah, but uh, um, uh, Marta era, right? Yes. Marta, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay. Repitamos la situación, okay? Do you understand, Marta? Yes, yes. Teacher. Okay, good. So, Marta, what color are my eyes? Look. Can you see mm -hmm. the color of my eyes? I don't oh, think you are so, so, I don't know, so close. Bit, so, so close to the. Yeah, but you see, that's we why we're practicing. That's why, that's why we're practicing. Would you mind? Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good. No, it's okay. So, Marta, please continue. Mm. Dígame, profe, no veo nada. ¿Le importaría moverse un poquito para atrás? Or. Uh, uh, teacher, uh, would you would you mind um, return and stepping back? Stepping back. Okay, good. Now it's okay. Yes. Okay, good. So, what color are my eyes? Stepping back. They're brown. They're brown, okay? Blue. No, they're brown. <laughs> brown. Man. Casi me lo meto en el ojo. Okay, Marta, la idea aquí era, yo sé que yo, o sea, era exageré un poco con mi ejemplo, pero lo, lo que quiero es que aprendan a usar la situación. Would you mind? Okay. Así como lo hicimos con Sandra, como se lo hizo Gabriela, con, con, con quién más, con Jasmine. Sofía. Hi. Hola, Sofía, ¿qué te duerme? Yes, I can hear you. ¿Qué me dice el cor? ¿Ok? Nada, no. Um, would you mind stepping back for, from your microphone, please? Excellent. Thank you, Sophia. Very good. Can you hear me Is now? it stepping, stepping, no, step up or step back? Yeah, or would you mind, bueno, aquí, fíjense que aquí puede haber muchas cosas. Puede ver alejarse, moverse, or like, would you mind moving your microphone? Um, quería decir alejarte del micrófono. Okay, back. Yo digo eso, entonces, quería decir. Backing up. Backing, back up. Uh -huh. Pero tiene que decir backing porque en Gerundio, remember? So uh, would you mind? Okay. Ya vieron que se usa mucho, o sea, como les repito, yo sé que exageré mucho en los ejemplos, pero si o no les ha pasado que a veces alguien les llama y no se oye. Yeah. So, hey, no te oigo, no te mm -hmm. oigo. Te podrías alejar de, del micrófono. Ah, ok, me oí. Ya, yeah, ok, good. O, o cuando estaba incomodando a alguien por metido, como lo estaba haciendo con Jasmine, o... O a Gabriela que le está hablando muy rápido. O a Sandra que no me oía porque muy fuerte estaba mi música. 
Entonces, en toda situación, hey, would you mind turning down the, the volume? Okay. And, and every every time we 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 do that question, we need to put ing. Yes, with would you mind? Okay, but only with uh, would you mind? Would you? Would, would you? Mind? Yes, yes. When we say can, could, and would, we just say the verb in the formal way. Okay. Will you please turn on the the microphone? Would you mind? Would you? ¿Y qué dije? <laughs> no me acuerdo. Would you please? Ay, perdón. <laughs> Will you mind turn on the microphone, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. I didn't see that my microphone was in silence. Excellent, Camila. Thank you. Perdón. No, no, me, lo, me... lo hice a propósito. Um, would no, you pero mind... yo, a mí se me, o sea, es como que directo puse mal la, 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 lo que no, tenía que poner no, la primera vez. No, realmente, please, yo le voy a decir una cosa. En el ejemplo decía que please depende si es confianza o no, la urgencia o no lo puede decir al principio o al final o, al, o en medio. Yo no creo que es tanto depende de eso, depende del tono con el que alguien lo hace. ¿Y si se pone eh, al principio? Es, ¿Se oye más pesado? Como... No, para nada. Imagínense esto. Um, please, please, would you mind turning down the music? Okay. Lo dije con un gesto un poco enojado. También puedo decir, would you mind turning down the music, please? You know? Or I can say, please, would you mind turning down the music? So it depends on su tono. Yes? All right. Questions? Would you mind answering, please? Because I can't hear you. Do you have questions? I don't have questions. No, no, not too okay. clear. Clear. You... Okay, very crystal clear. Okay, teacher. Clear. Do you, do you... clear, teacher. Okay. Do you know that? Do you know that expression? Crystal clear. No. It's Come new. On. Uh, Está claro como el agua en español así. En inglés se dice claro cristal. Crystal clear? Yes, crystal clear. Crystal clear. It's an expression. All right. So, knowledge check. It says here. Match the requ Do you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Very good. It says match the request with the appropriate responses. Luis, hoy sí vamos a. Would you mind turning down the TV? Okay. Would, would you lend me $10? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Luis. I think you are listening to TV or to the radio. Okay. In your house in this moment, no? Okay. Would you mind turning down the volume? Okay, yes, I I, I, I don't have a problem turning down the volume. Okay, good, thank you. Okay. Cool. Hey, salió un ejemplo de verdad. <laughs> <laughs> No, es que, se, se, bueno, creo que usted era, ¿verdad, Luis? Es que se oía un, un... Interference. Ajá, interference. Oh, ok, yes, maybe, I believe. 
<risa> y, <risa> bueno, y es lo que les digo, en esas situaciones así usamos would you mind, como in the moment. Ok, yes. Y se oye muy, muy educado, polite. Ok, so, match the request with the appropriate responses. Could you lend me $20? Okay. So, what do you think is the correct one, Sandra? We are sorry. We'll talk more quietly. I am sorry. I'll do it right away. Sorry, I didn't realize the seat was taken. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. Yeah. I am really sorry, but I am busy. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Uh, are you kidding me? I don't have any cash. Very good. I think, yeah, that one's good. Are you, that is a obvious, right? Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. But the last one, I, I, I think that I, this is like good Yeah, tune. the two are correct. I, I think there's two possible correct ones here. Is correct, sure, no problem. I, I will be glad to. Is correct. I'd be glad to. Glad to. Yes, it's correct too. But the part of only accept the one answered. Yeah, so which one do you think it is? Con cuál nos quedamos? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Okay. Vamos a ver si es acepta el platform, pero si alguien escogió esta, no se preocupen porque para mí está buena también. Y me presta 20 dólares, sí, con gusto. Toma. Can you get me a sandwich? Um, Camila, what do you think here? Can you read the examples, please? Uh, we're sorry. We, we, we will talk more quickly. Quietly. Quietly. Perdón, es que no veo bien. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. I do. I'll do. I'll do it right away. Okay. What about now? Yeah. Okay. This. Sorry, I didn't realize that this seat was taken. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sure, not problem. I I I'd be glad to. I will, but I as the I have no, see. Sí. I would. I will. I would be glad to. I think that it's the last one. Okay. You know, I think these two are are correct. Mm -hmm. But it depends. For example. Esta es mi esposa ahorita. Si yo le digo, can you get me a sandwich? Me, me diría, I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Pero cuando éramos novios me hubiera dicho esto. Sure, no problem. I'll be glad to. <laughs> sí, no hay problema con gusto. <laughs> so it depends on the situation, right? But so which one do you think is the correct one, Camila? The last one? I think so, but if you are mean... Uh, the, the other one, yeah. I don't know. If you're a grumpy but person. I think that the those uh, answers are really, yeah, I don't know. They are not like. No, I, I understand. Only what one you, option. Yes, I understand. No, definitely. Are really open. Yeah, they're open questions. Very good. So, yeah, so don't worry. I, 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 I get you. Can you help me move to my new house, Samuel? No, wait, I'm sorry, Marlon, I have not heard you today. Marlon, can you help me move to my new house? Which one do you think is the correct one? Okay, teacher. Uh, where I sorry, we'll, we'll talk more quietly. I'm sorry. Quietly. Quietly. I'm sorry. I'll do it right away. Sorry, I didn't realize 
the seat was taken. Uh -huh. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. I really sorry, but I but I'm busy. 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 Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Oh this list with is pues I really sorry by Arambosi. Yeah, but once again, this one is optional too. It's open. Mm -hmm. okay. But let's let's leave this one because here we, we did this one. But it's okay. Would you mind not sitting there? Samuel, would you mind doing number four? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Would you mind not sitting here? Okay. We're not sorry, we'll talk more quickly. I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Are you kidding me? I don't have any cash. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Now, I, I do see a specific answer here. Sorry, well, I didn't not, ah, was not was here. Here. No, sorry, I didn't realize that this seat was taken. Yeah. It okay. Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Yeah, because here, look, it says, would you mind not sitting here? Oh, sorry, seat. I didn't realize the seat, seat was taken. Seat was taken. So this one, uh, yeah, the bus, pretty sure. right? Yes. So this one, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Maybe it's the only one I can guarantee is that one. <laughs> and number five, Beatrice. Can you give us number five? Yes. Um, uh, could you move your cap from my face? We're sorry. We'll take more quietly. I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. Sorry, I don't realize this seat was taken. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sure, no problem, I'll be glad to. I think it's, um, I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. Good. Ese es como un buen salvadoreño cuando le toca la puerta uno, ¿sí? Mire, me puede mover el carro. Ahorita, así respondemos. Ahorita, I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. All right, Leah, number six, please. Number six, say, would you mind not talking so loudly? We're sorry, we're talking more quietly. I'm sorry, I'll do right away. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. I'm really sorry, but I busy. Sure, no problem. I be glad to. Uh, we're sorry. We're, we're sorry. We're sorry, we're talking more quietly. Yeah. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's, would you mind speaking? Okay, good. Let's see, and I know we're gonna have some wrong here. Hmm. So we have number two wrong. Can you get me a sandwich? So no, we have the wife, not the girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the wife. Or do you, do you think of another option? It's okay. No, I'm really... it's, yes, it's okay. Okay. Can you help me move to my new house? Yo podría jurar sure, que no problem. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. 
Okay. Hey, pero en otra escena, esa estaba buena también. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Pilotina. <laughs> Every three under, there were three. All right, we passed. Mm -hmm. Good. Muy bien, miren, hoy aprendieron a, a, a usar would you mind en situaciones inmediatas, se puede decir, que están pasando en el momento. Esperadas. Uh, lo que les recomiendo hoy es aprender a, a hacer las respuestas, como aquí. Sure, no problem. I will do it immediately. O, o responder no. Okay. You know, así como estos ejemplos. Um, uh, Marvin, uh, I'm sorry, Luis. Mm -hmm. Imagine yes. Saturday you're going to work all day. Mm -hmm. Yo le pregunto, Luis, would you mind helping me paint my house Saturday? No, oh, no, sorry, I can't. Okay, I can't, good. teacher. No, very good. But I lo digo. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. Soy mucho mejor que decir no. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. Saturday, I work all day. And Krishna is okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, class. Thank you very much. We'll continue tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good night. All right. Thank you, teacher. So, Have a night, night, night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Night, 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 night. Good night. Nighty night, nighty night.